Now, India's nuclear ballistic missile submarine, INS Arihan, successfully test-fired a ballistic missile. Now, a major milestone as earlier test firings were done from fixed underwater platoons. Now, this time, the submarine itself launched the missile. Take a look. India successfully test-fired a submarine-launched ballistic missile from its nuclear-capable INS Arihant with the, the Defence Ministry saying in a press release that all operational and technological parameters were met. This means that India's nuclear triad is now fully operational and complete and that we have missiles that can be launched from submarines and can target Pakistan and China. India's nuclear-powered submarine INS Arihant carried out a successful launch of a ballistic missile in the Bay of Bengal. The Defence Ministry in a statement said all operational and technological parameters of the weapon system have been validated. The missile launch is seen as a major milestone to further boost India's strategic strike capabilities. India's nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine program is a closely guarded project. INS Arihant was the first boat under the SSBN project that was followed by another boat, INS Arigat. In a statement, the Defence Ministry said that the SSBN program is a key element of India's nuclear deterrence capability. INS Arihant is India's first homemade nuclear submarine. It was launched in July 2009 and was quietly commissioned in 2016. India is among a select group of countries having nuclear-powered submarines. The countries that have such assets are the United States, Russia, United Kingdom, France and China. India has been a leading voice in pitching for universal nuclear disarmament aimed at complete elimination of atomic weapons. In 1998, India conducted Pokhran II nuclear tests, triggering strong reactions from many countries. Following the tests, India maintained that it carried out the test to have credible minimum deterrence and it will follow the approach of no first use. In 2003, India officially came out with its nuclear doctrine that clearly elaborated on the no first use policy. Bureau Report, Republic TV. There's also what's making news across the nation. The Enforcement Directorate raided at least 25 locations in the national capital in connection with an ongoing probe into the alleged money laundering. Now, according to Delhi Excise Policy, details in this matter is still underway. The ED arrested three people, including an Indian uh, Administrative Service officer in the Chhattisgarh mining case and seized unaccounted cash amounting to Rs 4.5 crore, gold jewellery and other valuables worth around 2 crores approximately.